Hello guys, this is Vishnu and uh, from Aeronaut Institute of Aeronautical Engineering and today let's see um, sets, set comprehensions and Python program and let's get started. Let's first understand what sets are. So set is nothing but a kind of data structure which uh, consists of I mean, which will hold some data in it. Um, it can be consists of um, integers, strings, floats, etc. So it's a data structure of unordered elements and sets always return unique elements when a list duplicates are passed and no indexing is there. Therefore, we cannot use it for slicing because it is an unordered because these are unordered elements. So, sets are useful for performing mathematical operations. Like, we can use it for uh, utilizing, uh, for finding the union, intersection, and etc. So, comprehension. Let's see what comprehensions are. So, comprehensions are very powerful as they can replace a few lines of code with a single statement so and uh, in a way more human readable manner so what we are seeing is the following syntax uh, example um, where a variable is passed and which is equated i mean this variable this variable is assigned to this thing and as you can see uh, curly braces are being used and for target statement like this is a target i mean what you want to do uh, uh, in the final stage, like uh, you will be collecting item, I mean the value from the iterable, and uh, you want to do something with it. This, I mean, with this item, you want to do something. So that something is passed over here, target underscore statement. And if we consider any if conditions, um, so first, this piece of code will execute let me clear it up first this line of code will be executed and then if there's any if conditions then it will go here and it will check whether this item is uh, satisfying this if condition if this is true then this uh, I mean this value which which is true will go to this statement I mean target statement the thing what you wanted to do and this is how um, this is what the comprehension i mean syntax for comprehensions and not only for uh, sets but you can it also i mean it's mainly used in uh, lists and dictionaries also so this is all about the syntax of uh, comprehensions so now let's go to our main very main topic which is list set comprehensions so um, you can you to initialize the set i mean you can initialize the set but uh, not the comprehension in two ways using set i mean this is a pre-default uh, function which you can uh, just recall it without importing any packages so this is pre-installed and uh, you can use it and you can also use this curly braces but this is not uh, considered as a, a very good practice of uh, initializing a set uh, because uh, sometimes I mean it depends. Like uh, it may also consider it as a dictionary but not a set. So it's best practice to use set. Uh, mainly use this only and avoid using this because mainly we will use this for um, assigning a variable I and mean, assigning a data I mean, assigning uh, something to a variable uh, which we wanted in the form of uh, dictionaries well we use dictionaries for uh, key value pairs so for those purposes we use this uh, curly braces so maximum try to avoid so that it won't uh, throw you an error so examples uh, 
these are the examples of set comprehensions over here set value one is equals to set dog we initialize the set uh, and now what we're doing is we are collecting i mean this is our uh, target statement and so over here we are just uh, saving the values in the set and in the form of set in the variable set underscore value one so this n will be saved in the in a set and this uh, these values in the form of sets are stored in this variable so what exactly happening over here let's see so first this won't execute and there's a for loop so this thing will execute and if you notice that we don't have to use colon after uh, using the for for loop I mean, after initializing the for loop, for any list and open, uh, these colons are not required. And first, the for loop will execute for any list. So it will collect the, um, let's say, like one, two, three. So what it will, I mean, what it will do is it will correct the value n as one first and it will store the value n i mean the variable n as one because it collected it from list and this n is passed on to this over here so as there are no if statements or any further for loops it will directly go to the n so So it will go to the end and it will uh, get saved in sets. So the same will happen. Uh, two will two and this thirty three will also do the same and this will uh, save in the form of one two thirty three. This is how it will save. And if we print this set value one, with, uh, the output what we are going to get is this. So in the similar uh, fashion. Um, n into n will also work over here we are just multiplying uh, the n by itself n into n for n in list first uh, this n loop will get executed I and mean, this for loop will get executed and after executing the for loop this n value will go over here and it will um, solve this I mean n into n if it's 1 it's 1 into 1 or 2 is 2 into 2 then it's 4 and the four will get stored in in this open and closed I mean uh, flower brackets. So this is how uh, these uh, co set comprehensions work. And let's do some code. Just removing all this and list equals to. One, two, three, four, five. So, uh, set uh, value one. Uh, first, I'm using a set to initialize a set. N for n in list. So now it will look. Can I mean, as I said, it will do. Uh, first, this for loop will get executed, and then this n value is sent to here so similarly uh, set underscore value 2 is equals to uh, instead of set we'll initialize the set with the help of this as you can see it it does consider it as a dictionary uh, primarily as you can see this this is a set which is consisting consisting of integers so let's continue over here uh, let's say as if you want it to multiply in per n in list so it will first uh, as you can see now this uh, have converted it into a set which is consisting of integers again so we'll print these things set value one and print set underscore value 2 
So let's print them. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. And yeah, this is pretty much all about uh, the set comprehensions. And uh, you can all actually, if we type the code, I mean, the other way, set underscore value one is equals to open and closed parenthesis. Uh, just count this thing out. Set value one put in in um, list um, set underscore value one dot add. As you can see now, add is a predefined. I mean, add is one of the operations uh, what we can do with sets. But if we see over here, it's considering it as dictionary because we have assigned. I mean, we have called and have represented it as dictionaries i mean open close parenthesis so this is not a very best practice for uh, initializing the empty set so over here what we'll do is we'll just go with set and now add got highlighted because this is one of the um, things what we can do with add so i mean with the sets so what we will do n and Finally, we will print the set value. And if you run the code, it just prints it. So, so, as you can see, this four lines of code has been replaced by a very single, I mean, one single line. So, this is how sets work and uh, set comprehensions work. And that's all for now. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.